okay, I cleaned up my little fellas, and uh, I've already started doing just a, a little bit on uh, these pieces, and we're going to go right along. This is our little uh, Santa Claus, and I've already started with the black to uh, paint his feet, in other words. And uh, basically, these, these are not going to be difficult characters to paint. Uh, I've cleaned them both up, but they're not going to be difficult to... Uh, uh, they're not going to be difficult paint jobs. And uh, remember that your color scheme does not have to um, follow my, my color scheme at all because uh, I want you to be creative. Well, I know a lot of you out there are wonderful painters and a lot more artistic than me, and I'm pretty basic when it comes to my painting. And... Uh, um, I know a lot of you are a lot better off artistically than I am, so follow whatever color scheme you would like to have. I'm just giving you a general idea or showing you how that we do this or this is done. And I've got his uh, boots painted black. Okay, that was uh, relatively simple. Now we're going to get down to our basic red or red oxide as I call it and we're going to use this in, in, on both figures uh, for the coat and the hat on the Santa so and also on the uh, bulb but like, that's the wonderful thing about carving you know you can kind of do your your own thing you don't have to necessarily follow. Uh, now, as far as the carving is concerned, uh, we can follow certain certain rules or certain ways. But uh, as far as the painting, you are limited. Uh, excuse me, you are unlimited to your imagination how you want to paint something. And so many people, like I said, are wonderful, wonderful painters, and they can make something look. Uh, Oh, three times better than what I can. So, <laughs> um, there was a man, Myron, on uh, recently. If you if you don't if you're not on the message board of uh, of Wood Carving Illustrated, uh, please let me tell you to get onto the message board and get your subscription to Wood Carving Illustrated because uh, there are just some of the most wondrous. Uh, carvings and things that people do, and recently, <coughs> Myron talked, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry, <coughs> Myron Compton uh, did a pair of boots on the, uh, <coughs> I'm, excuse me, I'm sorry, what a time to start coughing, huh, did a pair of boots on the, uh, <coughs> MCI message board, and I want to tell you something. Um, the carving was fantastic, but the painting was just, <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, was just unbelievable. Uh, he made the, the pieces look almost like leather. And, uh, <coughs> well, what a time for something like this to happen. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, they were just, uh, if you didn't get a chance to see them, go on Wood Carving Illustrated. And they're on there now. They're uh, classic boots is what they are. And uh, <coughs> the painting is just amazing. So uh, they, they look like two tones of leather and uh, suede. So <coughs> if you get a chance, please do that. Ooh, I never had this uh, coffin fit before. But I, I did now. <coughs> okay. As you can see, the uh, that's why these things are live, folks. I tell you what. Uh, <laughs> 
But if you haven't seen those boots, I want to tell you something. They're amazing uh, looking. Uh, he, he does them where they're, they look uh, like they're a leather and suede, and they are just beautiful. I mean, it, it, it shows you what a paint job can do, a good paint job can do on a carving. I'll tell you what, it is just, uh, it, uh, I just couldn't believe it. I, it looked like he had miniaturized two boots, uh, put them together, and just miniaturized two actual boots, real boots. And uh, and, and then I, I asked him about the color scheme, how he got it, and he, it was kind of funny. He said, well, I just kept mixing colors and mixing colors until I, uh, I finally got my shade. He said, I don't even know if I could do it again. And that, that happens a lot of times, but... But you see, he took the trouble to mix the colors and get the right shades, and he just did it almost unbelievable. <coughs> Excuse me, an unbelievable job of the uh, of the boots. I'll tell you what. I apologize. I, I, I just went to a coffin fit. I'm I'm sorry. Um, I just ate some. Uh, almonds a while ago, and that's probably what it was, the holes or whatever, got lodged. <laughs> well, that's the thing about doing something live. Uh, things like that can happen. Okay. We've got our little man, uh, our little Santa here, with, uh, painted with a little red. Now, we're going to do the same for our uh, our uh, teardrop Santa here. And like I said, I want you to experiment with these um, color schemes. I want you to to do your own thing because that that's part of learning how to carve. Uh, I know that um, 